Here are a couple takeaways. 1. Without movement, the footage can be very boring and security camera-like. I used a dynamic zoom to add movement to many of the clips. As I improve as an operator, doing chases and other techniques will add to the experience. 2. Shutter speed was far too slow to capture moving bikes. That will need to be adjusted manually. 3. The lack of GPS signal made the drone a bit confused at times. Combined with the lack of object avoidance, it made for some sketchy moments. 4. Not disturbing the riders by being in their line of sight. These kids do not need any distractions while riding. I apologize if I affected anyone negatively. I did not think that out fully. 5. Matching the coloring of additional cameras. My GoPro was set up drastically different than the default settings of the DJI Mini 3. Unless you want to spend time working on clip color correction, more effort to match the captures should be used. 6. No audio from drones. Combining video with audio and without can be tricky and needs care selecting backing tracks. Those takeaways seem very negative. The positives are that almost anyone can fly this drone with almost no experience. The drone will hold its elevation and position with no input from the controller. My son was able to fly the drone around the backyard on day one without crashing into the multitude of hazards present. I am very excited to see what kind of footage I can gather this summer. Thanks for watching. I'm working on adding content to my videos for the next year.